Hello everybody. Today we're going to be doing some maths to get those brains working. I hope you're ready. I can't wait. We're going to warm our brains up a little bit by having a go at these number sentences. There's four for you to have a go at first and then we'll check after. Here are the four number sentences I'd like you to have a go at. You could do them in your head by counting on or you could draw your chips and your peas. But remember, a chip is worth 10 and a pea is worth one. Pause the video now and have a go. Here are the correct answers. How many did you get correct? I've shown you at the top, you could have drawn your chips and your peas. I've put T-O above my numbers to remind me of my place value. Or you could have just counted on in your head. I wonder how many of you did that. Remember for this last one, 18 add nine, you could have added 10 and taken away one. 18 add 10 is 28. Take one, 27. Today, we're going to be learning all about addition. Now I know you two that you are super whizzy with addition and you can add a one digit number really, really quickly. But I'm gonna challenge you today and see if you can remember how to add a two digit number to another two digit number. So we are going to use addition and equals today. Okay, our first step is to write T-O above our numbers. See if you can tell your grown up right now what T and O stand for. Did you get it right? T stands for tens and O stands for ones. I'm going to draw my chips and my peas now for my number 45. So I've got four tens and I've got five ones. And then I'm going to do the same for 23 so I can see the number underneath. So I've got two tens and I've got three ones. Now my next step is to count them up. Okay, remember when you're drawing your chips and your peas, don't do them really close together. Otherwise, you might get a little bit confused when you're adding them up. So I hope you're going to join in with me year two. I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. How simple was that? Don't forget though, always check back just in case you've made a mistake. So, ready again to count with me? I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. I think we've solved it year two. Pause the video and see if you can have a go at this number sentence. 33, Add 16. Remember our steps to success. Draw your chips and your peas. And don't forget, check back. This is the answer you should have got for this one. So you should have got 49. Did you get it right? If not, don't worry, try it again. Okay, I've got another number sentence for us to have a look at. This one looks way too tricky for me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to solve it yet too. I'm going to have to think and count really carefully with this one. Okay, write T-O. That's my first step, write T-O. Okay, next step, tell me what it is. Tell your grown-ups. That's right, it's drawing our chips and our peas not too close together because otherwise I'm definitely going to get it wrong if I do that. Okay, I've drawn my chips and my peas. This looks like a lot for me to count up, but I'm gonna have a growth mindset. I'm gonna, I know how to count in my tens and I know how to count in my ones, so we can do it, can't we, you two? Count with me, you ready? We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Now, I'm not going to count all of these ones now because I know there's seven there. So I'm going to go 70, seven, 78, 
79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. I'm going to write my answer in, but I'm definitely going to check because this one was really tricky. Okay, we've got, I might try and count these ones all together as well because I don't need to count them because I can see that there are 6, 10. So I know that there's 60 because 6 times 10 is 60. So I've got 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. We've done it year two. Are you ready to have a go at one of these? Just as tricky. Here's your number sentence that I'd like you to have a go at. Remember the steps, write T-O, draw your chips and your P's, make sure you count them up carefully and definitely check back because this one looks trickier than mine. Pause the video now and have a go. Here's your check, you should have got the answer, 96. That's a massive answer. I'll be super impressed at anybody that got that one. Well done, you two. You're doing so, so well. Are you ready for a challenge all of your own? Here you go, year two. Here's your challenge. There are 10 number sentences for you to have a go at. Don't forget to use the method of our chips and our peas. Don't worry if you find one too tricky. See if you can work with your grown-up to try and solve it. Have fun. Keep learning. Finally, to finish, here is an extra spicy question for you to have a go at. True or false, 41 add 30 equals 82. How do you know? Prove it. Enjoy. I really love doing some maths again with you and I can't wait to hear all about your awesome maths work. See you soon. Bye.